How about you, Jed? Hey. Ham saved Valentine's. <laughs> All right. Say happy Valentine's Day, everybody. We got our Valentine's Day this week. Oh. So the boys are going to open it. Let's see what's inside of it. With some coloring. Say they really like all the different people. kinds of holidays, this but Valentine's Day I think people. is probably second favorite for them. Wow! What is it? Logan oh, just likes tossing it. everything out. Wow! Oh, my pencil! My oh, name is Chad, and we just wow, go back to uh, uh, wow. candy. We go so many. Yeah, oh. look at all the candy we got. Look at all the candy. We Whoa! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Whoa! A spinky heart! Hey, look! What is it? It's a new one! Whoa! It's hey, a new one! It's a new bubble! New bubble wand! That's cool! New bubble wand? This is what I've been looking for! Yeah, the really pop! I had no idea you were looking for a bubble wand, Chad. Hey, look! This is a slinky. Look at all the candy you guys got. We got all the candy we slinky. have. Oh my goodness. That's such a lot of candy. There's so many Thank little Thank you, Mommy. Oh, it's not from me. You got it from school today. It's a You're welcome. You're welcome, Logan. You can have those. Say, so Chad had his Valentine's Day today, and Logan had his yesterday. So they're, I put all their stuff in the same bag. So they could equally share the amount of candy. So that that way, um, yeah, there wouldn't be any fighting. <laughs> so tip for you parents out there with more than one children, if you can hide their Valentine's Day candy and put it in one big bag for them to share, it makes it less, yeah, less chaotic. Because <laughs> when each of them have it a different day for their schools, it makes it a little bit easier. That way they're not having one... Whole bunch of candy the first day and then several days afterwards. So, all right, you guys can pick one piece of candy and then the rest will go in our candy bin. Here's another one. As, as we see, Logan's already diving in. I want to take the bubble potion. Oh, okay. And I want all right, well, you, Logan, hey, remember, we only get one piece of candy. Well, okay, now, all right, the rest of this is going to have to go away now. Okay, Chad, you can pick one thing. One, or actually, well, you get three things because brother picked up three things, so it's only fair. Okay, three things. What else what do you want to pick out? This one. What is this? Oh, cool! Somebody made a made a hostess chocolate cake in there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Squishy, cool. Mommy, what do you think? Don't yeah. Squish this. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just seeing what it was. Oh. Pretty cool. Say lots of delicious candy for Valentine's Day. Quite a haul. Look at that. Hey, mommy. Yes, dear. Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that video of my boys opening up their Valentine's uh, Day gifts they got from school. Um, they really enjoy Valentine's Day as well as the other holidays that involve them getting any kind of candy. Uh, <laughs> because in our house we try to limit the amount of candy they get. I'm sure other parents out there can relate. Um, my kids are going to be hopped up on sugar this whole weekend, so yay! <laughs> Please pray for me. It's going to be a long weekend. <laughs> um, anyway, I just wanted to uh, say a few things about uh, Valentine's Day for special needs parents out there. Um, don't feel obligated or sad that you may not be able to go out for Valentine's Day. Me and my husband are not going out for Valentine's Day. Uh, what you can do if you feel like you need to give your significant other something, uh, if you don't have money, like the situation we're in right now, because we're currently remodeling, <laughs> we're kind of both broke. So um, our gift to each other this weekend is uh, giving each other time. And by that I mean... Uh, for this weekend, me and my husband are going to each take turns with the boys. Uh, so each of us can have a set amount of time this weekend for us to just relax and just kind of de-stress from this hectic week. Um, like I said, we're currently remodeling our home right now. So my house is kind of, you know, 
trashed. <laughs> um, we're, uh, my kitchen's getting redone. Uh, we're adding an, another bathroom. So me and my husband have our own bathroom. So we're not sharing with the boys because trying to share a bathroom with four people um, in a home is is not ideal. But we've been doing it. So <laughs> we've gotten to the point now where the boys are getting bigger. Um, it'd be nice for us to have our own bathroom, um, our own space that's that's just ours. So um, we're doing that. We're also, we um, tore off the front of our home, uh, put in new windows and stuff like that. So we're also adding, uh, doing the new uh, front. We're going to put brick on the front of our house. So we're doing that as well. So it's kind of been a chaotic couple of weeks. So like I said, this weekend for, as a gift to each other, since we're both broke, uh, we are going to uh, give each other time this weekend. Um, we're each going to get an hour or two to just do something that we haven't gotten to do all week. Um, I'm going to watch the boys for a little bit so my husband can go out and um, do something he wants to do, whether it's working on his Jeep or, um, you know, hell, just taking a nap. Um, <laughs> just something that, that we don't get time to do during the week because we're constantly both running him with work, me running my kids everywhere, um, and it's just nice. And then my husband's going to do the same for me. We're going to take an hour um, that I get for myself that it's either I get to go read my book for a little bit or work on my cross stitch or, I mean, if, if I want to take a nap, I'm going to probably take a nap. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, you don't have to get something for your, your significant other for Valentine's day. Um, especially if you're a special needs parent, it can be exhausting. And sometimes we don't always have time to go get each other something. Um, so what we do just because it says on the counter, it's Valentine's day. I hear it every year. Um, I tell people we spoil each other all year. It's not just one day on the calendar. Um, we try to make time for each other, no matter how small, um, the amount of time that me and my husband get to spend, uh, whether it's 20 minutes or a half hour, um, we try just to, you know, spend as much time as we can together, despite all the chaos we have of living in a house full of all boys, including my dog. <laughs> so I just want to tell everybody for Valentine's Day to not stress so much about it. Um, just try to relax if you can. I know some of you parents out there have kids that are um, on the other side of the spectrum that can make that tough for Valentine's Day. Um, but just, just enjoy that you have someone there to help you through the journey with your children. So... Um, be thankful for that. I am exceedingly thankful every day that my husband is here to help me with the kids because I would go crazy <laughs> if he was not here. So um, just want to tell everybody happy Valentine's Day. Uh, try to have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Um, and I will hopefully have a new video up here uh, once the chaos kind of dies down from our renovations we're doing. <laughs> um, it's hard to video when you have lots of uh, background ambiance, uh, saws, uh, things getting broken down, uh, Logan screaming, crying, uh, getting excited because we're knocking down walls and making a mess and, uh, you know, shop vac running, things like that. So I just want to tell everybody have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, if you do get to go out, enjoy the time you get to go out with your significant other and have a wonderful time. Um, I know for some autistic parents out there and special needs parents, it's hard to find time. But if you do get the time this weekend, try to make the most of it because I'm sure for you as it is for us, it's very rare. <laughs> so um, that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you next time.